Now to the war in Ukraine and the ongoing exodus from Russia spurred by Vladimir Putin's military call up. Tonight, the U.S. Embassy is telling all Americans in Russia with dual citizenship to leave, warning that Russia may stop dual citizens holding U.S. passports from leaving the country and even conscript them into the military. Meanwhile, the hours long lines continue at Russia's border with Georgia, and that's where ABC's Brit Clannett reports from tonight as fighting age men try to make their way out. With a step across the border, fear turning into relief. Thousands of military-aged Russian men finally reaching the Georgian checkpoint after a harrowing trek from their hometowns, all to avoid being sent to fight in Putin's war in Ukraine. All these people have been on a days-long journey from Russia. They say they were checked at the border to make sure they weren't on a draft list, but they say they don't have any plans. They just needed to get out. They're exhausted. They're relieved. And one person I spoke to said that he doesn't want to have to kill anyone or be killed himself. The crush to leave so great in parts that it can be seen by satellite. With reports that people are waiting up to 50 hours in their cars to cross over. Many, like Dimitri, travelling part of the journey on foot. The 27-year-old spent seven days trying to escape from his hometown in central Russia. <sighs> Sorry. Oh, you really are Yeah, to Georgia. Yeah. He's out of breath and sunburnt from two days of walking. But he says he made the right choice to leave. I don't want to kill people and I don't want to be killed. I don't need this war. I don't support Putin. Dmitry so desperate to leave after Putin's announcement. His wife is still in Russia but is joining him when she can. As we see it right now, this is the only option for us. Alexander from Moscow also leaving his life behind. Why did you decide that you needed to get out of Russia? Because I don't like uh, this put, uh, corruption. Russian And before, president. you don't like Putin? Yes. And you don't support the war? No. Why? This is a normal for any human. Since Putin announced a new mobilization drive last week, they could enlist up to 300,000 Russians. An estimated 260,000 have left Russia, according to Western officials. Up to 100,000 estimated to have crossed into Georgia alone, and not everyone's welcoming Russians with open arms. The Georgian side has no precise information who those individuals are and what their real intention is while arriving in Georgia. We believe that such kind of migration from Russia in Georgia uh, poses an imminent threat to Georgia's national security, Georgia's economy and the stability in general. Airplane ticket prices out of Russia also skyrocketing. All flights out of Moscow now sold out, as some Russians fear nearby borders could be closed. Today, the U.S. also urging all dual U.S.-Russian citizens to leave and telling Russians fleeing the draft that they are welcome to apply for asylum. As limited options still remain to get out of the country, anti-war sentiment is growing. Protests again today against mobilization across the country. Hundreds arrested. But out of the Russian propaganda machine, unsurprisingly, a far rosier picture. This video showing the first round of reservists, some smiling as they're sent off to the front lines. Russia now saying they're taking note of who leaves. Reports of border controls also tightening up. Some will say, why didn't you leave before? Or why, you know, some Ukrainians will say, why don't you protest more? I don't know, people in my country just too scared to go to protest. I would like to say all people from Russia just don't be afraid. But decision is yours. It uh, means uh, a lot of risk. But fears at home and in Ukraine only growing, with Russia expected to annex four Ukrainian territories in the coming days. Ukrainian men in the occupied areas also expected to be called up to fight against their own people. Hi everyone, George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel and don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.